Happy Monday, everyone. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. So for today's HR tip of the day, I'm going to talk a little bit about candidate status and when it's appropriate to quit your day job. So my group and I are going through thousands of applications per year. So when we're giving a call out to the potential candidate and letting them know that they're going on to the next stage in the process, it sort of feels like they won the lottery or they got the golden ticket. Yay, except this calling. And what's the first thing that they do once they get through the interview process? They quit their jobs. And I tell candidates on a regular basis, do not quit your jobs until you know for certain that you're gonna be starting these positions. So what happens with a lot of our candidates is that they'll come in for, um, they'll do all the testing, they'll come in for an interview, they pass the interview, they pass the background portion of things, and then we let them know that they passed background, and then we set them up for the medical appointment. So at that point, they're quitting their jobs, and when they go in for a medical appointment, it turns out that they're going, they're going to get placed on hold, either for maybe a sleep apnea test or for something with diabetes or high blood pressure. So at this point, they're placed on hold for 90 days. So it could take them an additional 90 days in order to start um, with SEPTA. That is, if they get, can get in to their doctor's appointment. So for my tip, for all the candidates that are coming in, for um, any of our positions or any position at all, do not quit your job until you know 100% sure that you are going to get that position and that you have a start date and you have your new hire paperwork. Jobs can change at any time and we don't want you to be stuck without any type of pay because you kind of jumped the gun. So that's my HR tip for the day. I hope you all have a wonderful day. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know, leave your comments, and that's all. So I have somebody here today that I'd like to say hi to you. This is one of our Scepter Ambassadors. Say hi. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Natalie Davis. Hi, Natalie. Tell um, our audience a little bit about what you do. Well, I check regional rail tickets for the passengers that are getting on the regional rail trains, northbound, southbound, Trenton, all the way to Delaware. This is about my third week, and I'm enjoying myself. All right, great. Thanks, Natalie. You're welcome. I've been kind of distracting her today because I'm here trying to record my videos. But um, I always try to uh, get around the system and meet as many people as we have because, you know, it's great to just to, to get to out to know everyone. We got 9,000 employees. As always, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.